welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet. On my channel, you will find a variety of things including keto recipes, what I eat in a day on keto, and also some protein sparing modified fast recipes. So if you are new here, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. We would love to have you join the family here and be part of this wonderful community. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I truly love each and every one of you and welcome back. Wanted to mention first off that Perfect Keto is having another sale. They are having their 4th of July sale right now. It is starting today and it is going until Tuesday, July 5th. So make sure you stock up. They are having a buy two, get one free sale. So you do not need any code whatsoever. I will have the link that you need to click on and it'll automatically apply the discounts at checkout. My link does give me a little bit of a kickback for commission. So please make sure that you use my link. It really, really does help me out. And thank you for supporting me so much. I recommend you stock up right now when they have their sales. If you missed out on their last sale, make sure that you take advantage of this. I always stock up when they're having usually their buy two, get one free sale. I am Canadian, but even when it comes to Canada, it is it is it works out cheaper in the long run than me ordering off as Amazon. I don't pay any duties once I receive it at my post office, um, but you obviously will pay for shipping, but it works out to be cheaper once you take advantage of these sales. So please make sure that you check out the link below and take advantage of the perfect keto sale. I have not had any coffee yet today and it is 11 o'clock. I woke up around eight o'clock today. I showered and got ready. Jimmy was busy working because today is Friday, so he just works from 11.30 till 3.30. So he was busy working on the guest room. Um, as most of you know, we are renovating that workout room into a guest room with a bed and two nightstands. It was bright pink and bright blue, and now Jimmy has completely painted that to the gray that we have everywhere around the house, as well as he painted the ceiling. Right now, he is working on replacing the window because we did buy new windows for the house, and we just have two left that we need to replace, and in the guest room is one of those windows. So he was busy um, using the saw in order to like get the window out that is already there, and then to put the new window in. The new window is a little bit smaller. It is still of code. These are brand new windows, uh, but he will have to like build, you know, something that, <laughs> it's like some sort of bracket or brace, you know, that he builds and then he drywalls it. And he's just so talented that way. Like he does such good work and we're so fortunate to have the work done on the house that we have had. Like I said, the kitchen renovation we did like three, four years ago. And the only thing that we purchased was of course the cabinets and the granite. Everything else Jimmy did, he did the plumbing, the drywalling, the electrical, we redid the lights in here and he did absolutely everything else, including the flooring. We did our own hardwood floors and installed those. So we have saved us tons of money by Jimmy doing it himself. So he wanted to get a start on that today and then on the weekend, hopefully he will finish that window. And then we just have a couple little small projects like replacing the fan, um, like with the, we have a light in there now and we're gonna replace it with a fan. Just a couple little things but I am so anxious for it. I always, if you would have been here with my um, downstairs bathroom renovation, I just get so anxious for the final product. And unfortunately it just doesn't happen like that because Jimmy does work a full-time job. I know nothing about construction. I cannot do anything. I tried to paint um, the office that I'm in now and you know, Jimmy was like, you're doing it wrong, let me do it. And I was like, you go ahead, because I despise painting and anything to do with that sort of stuff. I am like the cleanup crew and you know, I help Jimmy and stuff like that, but I cannot do any of that stuff. So it takes a while because he only has weekends to work on that, um, but that is what we are working on. All right, this is the status of the spare room. <laughs> So we have this here is kind of storage because um, right above this room is our bedroom. And there's Jimmy. And so off of our bedroom, which is right above here, we have a deck. Um, so that is why this is enclosed. And 
look at what Jimmy did. So we, the window before this was the full length. So Jimmy decided to push it all the way over and then he is going to build something there. <laughs> and uh, it will be a window, a brand new window like the rest of the house. And then he will build um, an enclosure there and make it look all pretty just like all of the rest of the windows in the house. So Jimmy is very talented. I will not give him up and trade him in for a new model. Are you happy about that, Jimmy? No. No, I got a lot of work. So, yeah, so he's just working away, and more than likely, this is my job as the cleanup crew. But everything is all painted, and Jimmy did the ceiling as well, and then we just have the, well, one of the things is to replace this light and to put in the fan. Oh, I need to get a new um, register cover as well, too. Yeah, Jimmy had trouble, you had trouble with that tape. I have a feeling it was like just old tape or something. Possibly. So anyways, yeah, it's coming along. Um, like I said, Jimmy still works a full-time job, so the only time to really work on it is on weekends. But after we get the window, I feel like it's going to be um, smooth sailing after that. The window is kind of like time consuming. So just a little update on our spare room slash guest room. This is strictly, like I mentioned, is going to be a, a guest room. It is going to have a queen size bed in here and then two end tables on the side. And then we do have this um, armoire that we're just gonna keep in this bedroom because it is empty and there isn't anywhere in the house um, that we do need to put this. So it just, whoa, just gonna stay in uh, the spare, Can I have my pencil the guest here? room. And then um, we will take off, actually, they, oh, maybe we don't need new doors. We need, anyways, we need to take off the doors and paint those as well too. This was the color that it was, well, half of the room. Half of the room was this bright pink and then the other half of the room was a bright blue, kind of like the same color of blue of this. Um, but Jimmy did an excellent job as always with all of the paint. So that is the update and I will show you guys probably next week what we have accomplished with this room. I have not had any coffee and I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna have my egg coffee again today. I'm contemplating it, but we will see. I will definitely be making that very, very soon. But I think I'm going to be having the same meals as I had yesterday. So sorry, this video is kind of a repetitive video from yesterday's. I just tend to eat things that I absolutely love and that I know the macros for and that will keep me on track. And today is going to be another tempting day because I am taking my dad out to see the new Elvis movie. The Elvis movie came out today. I think it maybe came out last night on the Thursday, but I got tickets for him for Father's Day and that is what we are doing today at 3.20. It's a longer movie, but I am not going to be getting, I already had this conversation with Jimmy yesterday and I'm like, I am not getting anything from the concession. I may get a Diet Coke or a Coke Zero but that is it. I'm not gonna be eating in town. Normally me and my dad would go out for eat to eat, but I'm just not comfortable doing that quite yet. I know I rarely give up occasions to eat out. You guys, if you've been watching my channel, I've always said that. However, you know, we are, are focusing on going to see the movie. Um, and I just, I can't stray from how good I am doing right now in the last like five days. And you know, my dad understands as well, um, but I'm staying on track and I'm sticking to my meals pretty much exactly the same that I had yesterday. I'm gonna be making my own Cobb salad today. So that is going to be my first meal that I'm going to be having. So let's make a coffee. I might make an iced coffee and let's have meal number one. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights All right, let's get started with our Cobb salad. I do not have any blue cheese crumbles. I'm gonna have to put that on my grocery list because I love blue cheese. So let's start. I did a little bit of meal prepping. I did um, grill up on the stovetop because it is once again raining here. Two 
um, chicken breast. So that is all prepped and ready to go because guaranteed I will probably be eating this once again tomorrow. Um, I also cooked all of the bacon that I had left because I'm going to use some for the salad. Plus for my next meal, I'm going to be having a couple slices with the pepperoni and cheese once again. And then here is my romaine lettuce. So I am going to put that in first. And then I also have my bag of hard boiled eggs as well too. So lettuce is going to be first and then we are going to add a little bit of chicken. And then I'm going to cut up my bacon. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I always, always cut up my bacon with a scissors all the time. It just makes it so much easier. So we are going to add that. I'm just gonna add one slice, I think. I think that should be good. And then we will add some cheese. I am just using um, this shredded cheese. It is a Tex-Mex blend. Blend, I usually um, do buy it from Costco. However, I haven't made it to Costco yet this week. Um, this month, I should say. I always go at the end of the month, so I definitely will probably doing, be doing that very, very soon. I also will put in two hard boiled eggs and also for my eggs i am just going to cut them actually going to cut them in thirds obviously i am not sick of eggs yet <laughs> i just love eggs so so much i love 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 them all right, and then next I am going to be adding some avocado. I'm gonna add a half of an avocado with this as well too, and this will make it really, really high fat, just to, because I don't have any blue cheese. If I did have blue cheese like crumbles, I would add them instead of the avocado, or even add both. It's totally up to you. There is various recipes for Cobb salad on the internet. Um, I just kind of make up my own with all of my favorites, but definitely look it up um, to if you've never made a Cobb salad, you definitely need to. They are the best. They are so, so good. They are my favorite, favorite salad. So that is it. I'm going to be using my ranch once again. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. Highly recommend if you guys have not had any salads yet with the weather getting so nice, start making salads because I promise you they are satisfying and they are so perfect on keto. And that is going to be it. That is going to be my first meal of the day. I did have some iced coffee, which you would have seen me made previously. So this is going to be my first meal of the day. All right, I am getting, I'm getting ready to go into town and it is cold out. It is like 10 degrees Celsius today. So I put on a sweater because of course in movie theaters, I always find it cold anyways. And I'm gonna take Jimmy's rain jacket because it is still pouring out. It does have a hood so I can put my hood up so that I don't kind of mess up my hair. Like the, the rain helps my hair with the curls. However, if it gets wet, then it becomes frizzy. I know my hair is temperamental. I do love it. I love having curly hair. I never have done anything with my hair. It has always been naturally curly. I literally put one product in it and that is it. I don't blow dry it. I don't um, like curl it, straighten it. I don't do any of that. I don't even own any of those items. Uh, but it does get very temperamental when the weather is like this or if it's in like a high humidity. Um, humidity. Um, area we have dry here in southern Alberta, but I know when I have visited like the east coast in Newfoundland in the humidity is so high um, My hair gets very very curly, but it also gets very very frizzy easily So I am getting ready to head out the door to go and meet my dad Like I said, we are going to see the Elvis movie It starts at 320 and my dad is like me. We need to be early for everything, which is perfect. So I am going to be heading into town here right away. So I did take a baggie with me of my cheese, my meat, and um, there's a couple slices of bacon in there as well that I probably will eat um, before I pick him up. I'm gonna pick him up a little bit before three, but I am going to kind of eat this on my way or once I get to town or what have you. And then once I get home tonight, I think I'm going to have my last meal. I don't know if I'm gonna have the chaffles yet. 
Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have something I think with chaffles. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm really not that hungry. I feel so good again today. So I feel like I'm in ketosis. Um, definitely have eliminated the cravings, eliminating the hunger and feels really good. I'm also taking my electrolytes with me. I always um, take the Redmond's Real Relight electrolytes is what I have is my number one. Highly recommend you guys take your electrolytes. I always rave about electrolytes and collagen. Um, so make sure that you take advantage of that. So that is it. I might get a diet a Coke or Coke Zero or something at the uh, movies but I will be avoiding temptation. And I know my dad will understand that because he, he knows my struggles. He's suffered with weight gain a little bit as well too and weight, weight loss and stuff. So he totally understands where I'm coming from and respects that fact. Um, so yeah, here I am going into town. We will um, go see the movie and I will keep you posted on how that movie is. So I will see you guys after six o'clock when I am back home. All right, I am just driving home right now from town and I wanted to tell you guys if you are on the fence about seeing this Elvis movie and you are a fan, go and see it. It is so good. It is a longer movie, so make sure that you have the time accommodated for the movie. But you guys, I like I'm an Elvis fan, but my dad is a diehard. Like I mentioned, we used to have Elvis nights growing up. Um, like I have known when Elvis was born, when he died, my mom was pregnant actually with me when they went to Vegas, um, to see Elvis at the international hotel, they were sold out. I have a picture of like, you know, them in front of the hotel that says Elvis is sold out. Like my dad is a die hard. And I didn't realize a lot of the information that was in this movie, mainly about his management. It was a surprise for me and that's what this movie is about is kind of like behind the mis the scenes it's not about his career or anything like that it's kind of more behind the scenes so highly highly recommend it you guys it was so good i will insert a couple pictures here that i took i took a selfie with me and dad and then my dad wanted a picture with just the elvis sign when we went to the movie you guys this was such a core memory like these memories make me tear up because my dad is 81 and these memories I will have forever just like the time when we drove down to Las Vegas and we seen Rod Stewart together and all those memories are so dear to my heart because me and my dad are so close and I am so happy that I went and seen this movie with him he was beyond happy to see this movie like oh my gosh you guys he had a smile on his face the entire time he then treated me to supper afterwards so i couldn't say no to my dad and i went out um, we went out to ihop i ended up getting a bunless burger like lettuce wrapped and a salad and which was really good and my dad of course had to get pancakes and got a breakfast um so it was such a fun night so i am just about to get home now i am like maybe two minutes away so i just wanted to close out the video here and let you guys know about the movie and about me eating out i know it wasn't planned but you know what i still stayed really on track i was really cautious about what i was getting um and i just couldn't say no my day to my dad he was like he was ecstatic tonight about the whole ordeal and seeing this movie so i could not could not say no so i want to thank you again for watching this video and thank you for all your support as well i appreciate it so so much so make sure that you give this video a like and leave me a comment down below and we will see you guys tomorrow